Hi, Meow Meows. Aww, look at you. She's so pretty. She's the best kitty. Hi, lovelies. <laughs> if you saw my last video, it was my summer perfume tray video. I'm also doing a giveaway for August this month, 2023. Yeah, just like my out of control, I'm on a no buy this month. That has come up with some challenges already, even though I'm pretty early into the month. <laughs> and anyways, just want to give you an update. So in that video, I mentioned four more perfumes I'm decluttering. If you haven't seen my channel before, I started with a collection of around 200 full-size bottles of fragrance many of which are like niche and high-end. I spent more than $40,000. I thought originally it was $55,000, but that included some purses that I bought <laughs> along the way. So I just went crazy buying, buying, buying. That probably happened within like a two-year span, maybe three. And samples, decants, discovery sets, full-size bottles that I'd never smelled, you know, blind buys which I'm sure a lot of us do on this journey, on this little fragrance hobby we have. <laughs> so I've just realized, what am I doing with all these bottles? And for me, it just doesn't feel right to have so many. So here I am decluttering. The last video I was sharing about my summer perfume tray. I used to do a monthly perfume tray. Now I'm doing it more seasonally since I have fewer bottles. I'm at about 46 bottles at this point, maybe 44, maybe more, depending on how you count them. <laughs> and... And I'm on this decluttering journey, really, and it's been so challenging, and I actually started this channel for that reason. I think that, you know, maybe if you're on a Facebook group with fragrances, or you see people on YouTube and they just casually get rid of all these bottles, I just don't really relate to that. <laughs> like, to me, it feels very hard. First of all, to make the decision that you'll get rid of something that you grow very attached to, I know... Those of us in this hobby get very attached to these different fragrances and scents. I'm sure you might have heard that scent is the number one sense associated with memory. And because of that, I think it's just so hard to let these go. And I just wanted to make a real <laughs> video about that struggle. Maybe if you can relate, maybe if it'll help inspire you. Maybe it's not that deep for you, but for me, it feels very deep. <laughs> so... So this last video, I got rid of four more. And once I declutter them, it doesn't mean they've left my house. It means I've decided that I'm going to sell them. Sometimes they come back in, but typically I'm pretty good about actually letting them go. Although I'm very, very slow at this process of taking pictures and posting on Mercari and all of that. So the easiest way, if you want to buy any of these that I'm going to show in this video, the easiest way is to send me a message on Instagram. I'm at Laura Sparkles underscore. I also do a lot of stuff around dance and body confidence, and you just see a glimpse into my life if you'd like to do that. <laughs> I also find that I just post there so much more frequently. It feels very easy to do that, like less, and not that YouTube is intimidating, but it just feels very casual. Like I could just put something together real quick. And so you'll find there that I organized my little vanity and you could see that process or, you know, just little reels and snippets and pictures and things of my declutters. I'm also doing these closet clear outs with women in my town for free and I'm loving it and you'll find content around that. So go ahead and follow me if you'd like. If you want any of these fragrances, send me a message there. I'll do my best to get back to you quickly and just know that this is not the easiest process for me, just like it might not be for you <laughs> to sell and declutter your collections of these things that you've grown to love and form all these emotional attachments to. Oh, and also a little shout out to this lovely candle. This is one of my favorite houses in Florence, Italy. It's Santa Maria Novella. Oh, here's Kitty. This is Isabel. Kitty! Say hi. She, went, she loves going into closets. That's where we're going next. <laughs> I'm going to show you all the fragrances that I want to sell, their little containers. Anyway, so we'll go in there next. Just follow her in there. But first... <laughs> So this candle is Santa Maria Novella, and this is one of the fragrance lines that I discovered out on a shopping trip with the perfume guy, Sebastian. I'll make a video about that experience. And anyways, this candle is very lovely. Note, I think, means night. And it's this lovely, I actually bought it because I love the color. Like purple is one of my favorites, this lilac color. And the candle is just giving, kind of gives me hypnotic poison, maybe au sensuelle, which is one of my favorites, discontinued, just a cozy, beautiful 
scent. So that's what I'm burning there. I hear the kitty getting into the closet. What are you doing in there? What are you doing, you silly girl? She loves closets. Kitty, what are you doing? Can you see her? There she is. Hi, honey. You're crazy. What are you doing? She loves a closet, I'm telling you. <laughs> Which I guess I love closets too, but I love to clean them and declutter them. And anyways, here we are. So in this video, I'm just going to go over all the fragrances that I am going to sell. This is that last basket that you may recognize from the last video. The giveaway I'm doing, I'm going to give away actually one of these three fragrances that a friend of mine gave me to gift to one of you. And I'll link the video here. All you do is click into that, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, do the little bell for all notifications because I will announce the winner in an upcoming video this month. I'll do a late summer perfume tray and that's where I'll announce the winner. And you'll leave a comment over on this video and I'll choose one winner and one of these can be yours. <laughs> so these I will not be selling, but these are some of the fragrances that I've just recently decided to sell in the last two videos. And I have a whole other box of things I'm still selling. So I want to show you the process Hopefully this might help inspire you, like I've said, or maybe you could just commiserate with me <laughs> of this process. It just feels like it's, it makes it easier when we're doing this together. So if you have a collection that you want to declutter or need some motivation or whatever it is, maybe grab yourself a cup of tea and <laughs> this might just be one of these kind of relaxing videos where I just share this process with you and hopefully you can relate. <laughs> So let's do it. Per usual, I'm in my little favorite slippers. I just love wearing these around the house. They're my favorite thing ever. <laughs> so this is one of my little closets that's off to the side in my bedroom. So you might recognize if you saw that last closet clear out video where I redid my perfume storage, you might recognize this little cabinet. Very, I mean, it gives Ikea for sure. Very inexpensive. I don't know why everybody uses this. It feels very generic, but the last thing I had in here felt kind of dark and dingy and small, and this is much, a much, much better use of space. So I just put, I haven't really done much with it. I just kind of shoved in what I had in the last closet here. This basket up here are my little travel bags and like all things travel, makeup and toiletries and jewelry containers and things like that. And same with the second bin. And then I just have some of the decorations I had in the last closet. I'm also keeping the things I'm selling that I've already been listed here. These you can find in Mercari already, along with this Kristen Dior. This is a old school poison, like original poison collectors set. That's also listed. So I'd have some books. I have my camera supplies down here. And then in these containers, this is what I need to get to. I save all the boxes as many as I can or remember to. <laughs> Sometimes they get thrown out. So I want to go through all the boxes, figure out which boxes go with which containers. I'll also grab this little scale and usually I measure and weigh everything. So I know that ahead of time and then take pictures and then put everything in a little sale pile. That's not a basket or one of these boxes because I still do have things to sell from before that's in one of these. <laughs> so I'll take these out and then we'll go through them together. I also have my perfume trays over here. That's where I store them and I'll swap them out. I need to find the next one for my late summer perfume tray. And then I have in the back a couple bags of empties that I wanna go through and make a video about and then throw them away. <laughs> and then, and still some samples and things from that shopping trip I talked about with the perfume guy, Sebastian. So maybe I'll take that out also so it'll motivate me to make that content and then clear this out. But otherwise it's a really, spacious closet and it's pretty empty other than that. So here we go. Here's a whole nother box of boxes, which is crazy, but <laughs> I do like, I'd rather sell these with the boxes. So I feel like it's worth keeping them. And you know, if I get down to a much smaller collection, then it's no big deal to save like, you know, who knows, 10 to 20 to 30 boxes <laughs> is a lot better than 200. So here, let me take this out. Okay, boxes. 
I'm just putting them on the bed for now. All right, and these are actual fragrances that I want to sell. So even more things to be sold. Okay, so that's pretty empty. I'm gonna grab these bags. I'll just put these on the floor. All right, that's pretty, it's pretty empty in here, which is nice. Something I like to do also when I'm decluttering is put things away or close things up that you're not using. I find that it distracts me less when things are put away or otherwise closed up. So I'll close the closet because we're not using it for now. I'm gonna bring the basket over to the bed where I put all these boxes and then I can very easily sort through and figure out which boxes are things I'm getting rid of and not, and then put them all in the bed. <laughs> so that's my game plan. So heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Okay, let's see what we have. I'll just match it up with the boxes. I found a couple other bottles in the closet that I haven't, I've taken photos of these, but I haven't listed them yet. This is always Rose. I might keep this, it was pretty inexpensive and it's this lovely hibiscus, kind of a fresh rose. I think I got it at Anthropology, one of the stores at the counter. Like it's not listed anywhere. It's just this really fresh hibiscus rose that to me could be like a great air freshener or a linen freshener scent. So I have a matching bubble bath. Maybe I'll just keep it in the bathroom. Although we all know not to do that. <laughs> if you wanna make fragrances last, you do not keep them in the bathroom, right? But this might be nice just as decoration or as a room spray. So I'll do that. And this I was going to give to a friend, although I don't know if she's like, it's been a few months, maybe a couple months since we talked about it. So either I'll keep it or I'll give it to a friend, <laughs> but I feel like I'm ready to part with it or maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll wear it right now. I actually really like this. <laughs> this is a problem, right? When we start to declutter, we just want to keep everything, but this is this gorgeous, Lavender, sweet, easy fragrance, this R.E.M. by Ariana Grande. I wear this oftentimes. I used to wear it quite a bit before bed. So one of the reasons not to have a huge collection is oftentimes I'll associate a fragrance with a certain period of my life, and this wasn't the greatest time. So we'll see if that memory is still associated with the scent or not. I will let you know. <laughs> This is Scandal by Night, that one I'm selling here. Oh, and I used to hate this bottle so much. And then <laughs> someone from Instagram, I forget the handle of his account, but he, <laughs> he made this super funny reel where it was like walking, do, 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 do. And now it's kind of amusing, but I'm still going to part with this one. So there's that. So I'm just gonna match up all of these containers with the fragrances I'm selling. Oh, okay, I'm selling that one. Note Vanille. There's this one. Note Vanille. That's what we got box. So maybe I'll just put one of these in here. Actually, I don't need this whole box. I'll put this out in my gifting section. So that will go to the garage. This I'm keeping Darcy. This is I'm keeping La Capitale and, oh, this I'm selling. This is Mon Exclusive, which I should have in here. Yes, have that here. Such a pretty bottle, but that's okay. <laughs> there she is. Okay, so there's three so far. These I'll put back. All right, so then I can move this down. And again, when I declutter, I just like to kind of get rid of things as I go to make room for the task at hand. And this is quite a large task. <laughs> so I see this Valentino Donna Rosa Verde. That goes with this bottle. I'll just do it kind of quickly here. Oh, Girl Gone Bad. This is almost like a, <laughs> did you ever play these memory games when you're young and you had to match your cards and then you got a match. That's what this feels like. <laughs> I'm getting matches. Oh, I know I'm selling Water Lily Sun by Erin, which I'm very surprised that I'm doing that, but 
here we are. All right, Water Lily Sun. Here she is. I know I'm selling this Versace Crystal Noir. That's here. What shall I do? Oh, I'm selling Lou de Ivar, which is one of my Frederick Mulls that I'm also surprised about. Poudre. Didn't I already sell? Oh, I already sold this, and I think I missed the box. So I know I could throw this box away. So that's something to keep in mind, too, as you do these, to throw things out. So this will go there to be thrown out. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that for now, anyways. That's my Ubi Rouge. I'm keeping all of the Ubi Gaunts. Um, what else? Iris Poudre I'm keeping. I'm keeping this Valentino. That is exclusive. I'm keeping that. Oh, I'm selling my Lou. Number five. There she is. I'm going to sell... I was just realizing... I've said before that these little perfume... The pure perfume bottles don't count in my fragrance count. And I'm wondering why. <laughs> I'm rethinking this. Even though it's 0.5 ounces, these are expensive and it's a whole nother scent that I have to decide between wearing and go through. And I think this jersey, although I like it, it's a very strong lavender scent and I don't particularly enjoy it when I wear it. So I think I will sell this. So I'll have to grab that from the closet. And I also think I'll sell the Bois Ease. I had somebody asking about this and so I'll put that aside also and 1932 I still do appreciate and wear so I'll keep that one and I'll just add it to my count so that way because it's the cost of a perfume bottle <laughs> so I might as well count it this Noir de Noir this one of these travel sprays by Tom Ford I was testing this the other night and I really thought it was beautiful when at first I couldn't deal with it it was much too like earthy and I think there's a truffle note but I might wear this for the winter, so I'll hang on to that. I love these Valentino Valentina fragrances that have been discontinued, but they are gorgeous. This one is like this very fun, fruity scent. Oh, and then I have these vintage bottles. And these are more for display. This one doesn't have a label, but it's like this old vintage Chanel bottle. Kind of looking like I've seen a better day. <laughs> I think it's just kind of precious. This is body cream. I will not sell this. I will definitely use this. And so I'm gonna throw the box away. So there's my little discard pile. This one I'm keeping. This is the only La Petite Robe Noir I'm keeping. And another Quelque Fleur. This is, oh, these are like, I think these were powder. Oh, there's a sample in here. <laughs> this is equivalent. Oh my gosh, this is equivalent to when you find like a $20 bill in a coat or a purse <laughs> or something you haven't used for a long time. So this is a perfumed powder box of the Obigant KK Fleur at Lay Original. And look what I found inside. There's literally a sample inside. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Obigant. Let me see what it is. That's hilarious. It is Rouge Malachite by Arman Armani Privé. <laughs> That's fun. Is there any left? There is nothing left. <laughs> Let's see, either it's spilled. I may have used it all. Oh, so maybe it's not like finding a $20 bill. <laughs> it's like finding a penny instead. Anyways, interesting. So I'll just throw this box away. I don't need to hang on to that. All right, what's in this box? This is a Maison Francis Kirkjian box, which I know I bought 540. This might be the 540 EDP. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's what that is. This I'm keeping for sure. This is the scented body oil and the fragrance itself. So I will keep that. All right, what's this? this is a Mikolaf Ylang and Gold. Love her. She's almost gone. <laughs> She's like halfway gone. It might be the first bottle of fragrance I empty in years, which is interesting. So it makes me wonder if I should even keep the box because I know I'll probably use it up. All right, here's a Zerjoff box. Let's see what I have in here. 
Oh, I think there's some that I'm selling that are... So I have the Grand Ballo Hair Mist and the Dama Bianca Hair Mist. Which I think I'll keep both of these. So it makes me think, why do I need this whole huge box? Oh, and I need this. This is her Dama Bianca box. So that's good, because I'm selling her. She is here. I feel like there should be many more boxes than there really are. So don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh, maybe there's some. I think I'd put some aside. Let me look through here. Look at how absolutely gorgeous these boxes are. <laughs> I don't know why these hair mists are giving me angst. Like, I'm not sure if I should keep them. I'm going to declutter both of these, Grand Ballo and Dama Bianca by Zerjoff. And the box is so pretty. I don't know if you could tell. It's like this beautiful scroll pattern. It's one of my favorite. Look at how pretty. One of my favorite patterns. And then, I don't know, it just feels so luxurious. Like, it makes me want to covet these even more. <laughs> When I use them. Luxury bath collection, perfumed hair mist, and then at the back, perfumed hair mist, active ingredients with panthenol, vitamin B5. <laughs> like it's so bougie and I'm here for it. I don't know, should I keep the, but why would I keep the box? That's ridiculous, <laughs> but it's so pretty. They're both just like so, so pretty. So I don't know, what would you do? Would you keep the box? And I don't even know that I need to hang on to these. I think it would be hard to sell them just because I can't even see how much is left. And I do use this often. But I could just also use the Sol de Janeiro Charosa 40. It's very similar. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with these. See, this is why it's so hard. <laughs> and this is why I wanted to make this video so people can know the angst that can go through decluttering. It's not just like, oh, I'll sell these and it's just so simple to sell. Like you go through this whole process of all these crazy things. And actually this is why it's wise to really think about what we buy before we buy it, <laughs> which is why I'm on this no buy this month. These are my lotions and hair mists that I'm not actively using. And so they're in my little perfume closet here. And I think I've decided that I will hang on to this Dama Bianca hair mist. I use it when I go to dance, like it's not too heavy of a fragrance, and I'll keep that. And then I think I'll sell the Grand Ballo because I've hardly used it, so I know that it's full. I thought it'd be easier to sell. And then, yeah, the rest of these, like I have the Delina hair mist, and this is that powder, the KK Fleur powder, and my MFK Baccarat Rouge body oil. While I'm in my closet, I think I will grab these that I'll sell. I'll sell this little jersey perfume and then the bodies, pure perfume. And I'll keep 1932, I do wear that. And this one, I don't, probably wouldn't count. This is so small. This is um, number 19, the pure perfume. Okay, these are going into the cell pile. Jersey. So I don't think I had a box for this. This is Lazy Sunday Morning. I'm really surprised I didn't find my Love Don't Be Shy Extreme box. I have no idea what happened. Maybe I wasn't saving the boxes at that point, but anyways, so that's that. This, I don't think I have a box for either. That's that Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. These three are part of this, that latest shopping trip with Sebastian. <laughs> so I have to go through the bags and find these boxes. So I'll do that now. Okay, so in these two bags, I do have my empties. I also went on the shopping trip with Sebastian, the perfume guy back in November, 2022. <laughs> and these bags have been sitting in my closet for at least that long, which, oh my gosh, it's already August. And this is almost an entire year ago. Is that crazy? Is that nine months? That's crazy. That blows my mind. <laughs> completely. It's like nine months ago that these have been sitting at least because that's when I got these bags. And then so in these bags, I think there's like some samples a friend gave me and a bunch of stuff I got with that shopping trip. So as I go through, I'll separate that out. Here's something crazy too. I have a huge storage box full of empty boxes. 
of the fragrances that I am keeping at this point. Do you guys keep your boxes once you know? I guess I want to get to a place where I know that I'm like down to my capsule collection and at that point maybe I'll get rid of the boxes. What do you guys do? Because I do think it's nice when you sell them to have the boxes. It feels just so much nicer for me personally when I get a perfume with a box. So kind of curious what you you do and I think I do like the idea of once I know that everything I have are things that I will wear before selling, then I can get rid of all this. But this is a big old box to store. Like it's not <laughs> small. Ugh, yeah. Anyways, curious what you do. Are you ready for this? <laughs> this is everything that I have to sell at the moment. I found most of the boxes. Oh my gosh, this is this is why it takes so long to post things and it just feels so overwhelming. How many bottles is this? I need to count. It's just crazy. Whew. Okay, so I got <laughs> everything out. There's plenty of bottles that are already in the boxes. Some of them I have to put in the boxes, but I'll need to take pictures and things first. So, oh my gosh. So the next step is to move it to the table. That's usually where I take my pictures. And then I usually weigh things as I go. And then I put it in a box or in the closet to know that I've already taken pictures. And then the next step is I post everything. So, yeah. And I know I could probably sell these at Facebook and these different groups. And it just seems, I don't know, Facebook just feels like a yucky place to me. Like it feels super negative and I just don't like to be there. So that's why I don't sell on Facebook. But I could sell these on Mercari. If there's anything you're interested in, again, just send me a little message on Instagram. And I already have quite a few I have to go through. And I'll just do first come, first serve. So this is the next step is... <laughs> photos and weighing things. I think before I do that, I'm going to go through and answer some of these messages because oftentimes I won't even have to take photos, which is nice. And I'll just sell directly to the people that have already inquired. But this feels so crazy. I'm not a perfume store and that's what it feels like I am. <laughs> like I'm just a person. And I guess the mania that I experienced when I was buying all of this, because you guys have probably been there researching, researching, watching videos, learning, you know, researching different notes and all these different things and then finding the best price and then buying and then getting all the packages. I would get like five packages a day at, at one of these stages in my life <laughs> when I was going crazy. So I guess with that same fury, I need to sell and get these things out of here because I'm never going to appreciate all of these and I've already gone through and tested and I just know what works and what doesn't at this point. Oh, and also, by the way, I think there's more than 40 bottles <laughs> or more than 40 listings I'll have to make to sell these. Nuts. Whew. Okay, here I go. Next step, which is photos.